And his opponent uh, fighting out of the right corner wearing the all the black trunks. He hails from Amar in County Tyrone, weighed in at 10 stone, not one and a quarter pound, holds a two fight record, one win and one loss. Please welcome Damien Taggart. Referee in charge of the action is Emmy on that seat, and this is for three minute rounds. Four three minute rounds, right? Keep it clean, keep it professional, all points. Touch him up, it's got to work. Touch him up. Seconds out, round one. Light wonder is the division. And coming out of the right corner rather smartly, the black trunks, is Damien Tigert. A man in whom Mickey Hart has quite an interest. Which Mickey Hart is that? The singer of the other fellow? Well, it's the other fellow. So if he can only transfer a bit of that Tyrone magic to this fellow, he'll be some fighter. The opponent here is uh, from Russia. The uh, Latvia. He's punching way off the back foot there. That left would drop short. A bit of a scrap here by the looks of it. There's a cut right away on the Viadoros right eye. Looks pretty bad to the blood. The blood's just streaming right down the right hand side of his, of his right eye, as you can see there now. Right! Step back! Right on the joint. Or the joining, rather. You didn't see any remarkable clash of heads, so we have to presume at this stage that it was a punch that did it. This is Damien Tiger's third professional fight. Born in Oman, the county of Tyrone. And next week he'll be 26. He's going to have a bit of a job with this eye when he gets back to the corner. Uh, a refugee will be arriving at in another minute and 20 seconds. Good punching from Tiger today, boy. Yeah, he's doing pretty well, but uh, I think Via Doris, I think it's quite a, 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 an the evening match fight. Here. Like, Tiger's doing pretty well, you know, he's doing some good, nice big combinations. And Via Doris, he, he's replying, you know, with his own. So at this moment in time, I mean, there's not a big lot in the fight. Like, like, uh, Tiger's okay, sort of just stepping ahead slightly, but it's pretty close and a pretty well evening match, these two. Apart from Viadoros, like bad, badly cut eye, but it might look a lot worse than what actually is. You know, there's quite a lot of blood around it there, but it, once it gets into the corner, you get it cleaned up. It might not be just as bad as what it looks here on TV. The At the step moment, back. it's accurately You're described as a bloody mess. I say, Blake, just step back, step right back. Stop. Last half minute of the round, and the blood has now been transferred to the body of. Uh, Damien Taggart, but I'm going to show you there are no cuts on Taggart, it's just this uh, flowing blood from the eye of Feodorovs. Uh, oh. Trying to get him back in this corner and try and tidy that up and see if indeed it is deep. You see, a lot of blood flows in that area and it doesn't have to be a very deep or a long cut, but there's only one way and that's clean it up and see what happens then. Step back. Cutmen used to be worth their weight in gold, so to speak, in pro boxing, but we shortly know. But I think the cut is just on the top of the eyelid, in which case it's a bad spot. Now, my medical man, Dave Boy Macaulay, what did they do with the eye between rounds there? Well, this time, they put some Vaseline on. Uh, I don't know if it's Adrenaline 2000, but it was a Vaseline uh, tub, so there's a good chance it could just be Vaseline, which will help stem the blue, the, the flow of the blood like, uh, slightly, but that will come off the way the, the gloves rub against the skin and the way the heads are rubbing together, that buzzing will soon come off. And we can see the blood started to trickle down the side right away, which means you took little or, 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 or very little uh, buzzing onto the cut because it's just starting to bleed right away. And, uh, and it doesn't look to me like it's a really deep cut, but if, they, if these guys are really good in the corner at all, the, the stem of blood sh should have been stopped you know, in the last round. But 
they're putting so little stuff on that they're doing. It's doing absolutely no, no good whatsoever. One thing about it, it's not flowing down into his eye. It's flowing where the take cut is. It's flowing down just the, step back, step back, step the right back. jutting right jaw. You see, it's not going into his eye, and that's a lucky thing. I was just reminded there when they were in the corner of the great Paddy okay, Byrne. What a cut man and all well, Paddy was. And that's, him. that's who I had in my corner. That Paddy could, uh, he could stop a gash two feet wide and two feet long. <laughs> he was that good. Somebody said once that he could close the, the uh, Grand Canyon. <laughs> he probably well, could. He was good. He was a corner man, Paddy, of the top level. Still going strong. I saw him. He was involved in some promotion recently. So I'm photographing him in boxing news. Well done, Paddy. But you, this isn't a bad wee, wee performance here, like from uh, from Tiger. Like, he's boxing well. You know, he's not a devastating puncher, but he's he's breaking this this uh, uh, the police guy Via Dorf. He's breaking him. He's breaking him down. Like, he's uh, picking away at him, scoring, scoring, loser points. You know, and just wearing wearing him down completely. So it's a nice performance from Tiger. Like uh, Via Dorf, he's been on the uh, the, the defense, you know, for quite some time now, but. It's a pity this young man, Tiger, can't punch because if he could punch, he'd be inflicting a lot more damage right now than, than what than what he has been. But his boxing is good. He's set up nicely. Nice tight guard. Boxes like that. Hands well held up. Jabs good too. That's a nice good one too. That's a nice good solid jab. Pull up with a nice good solid right hand. It's not. It's very. It's a very interesting fight. Uh, quite an exciting fight. This because it's toe to toe. You know, they're not leaving each other alone. You know, they're on each other. They're never away. And they're, they're thinking and, and they're punching, and they're doing each other like a lot of damage. Especially Tiger. He's doing a via door. He's doing him a lot of damage here. You know, these wee punches are just wearing them down and breaking them down gradually. Well, they are chosen punches. There's no wild swings and no no hail mary swings from either man. But particularly Tiger. Look at that again. His lead is good, and uh, he's, in my opinion, well ahead in this one. He certainly has less blood on him anyway. Coming to the end, but there is the end of the penultimate round. One to go, and you'd like to see this brave lad continue right on to the end. Cut eye or no cut eye, but they manhandle him down the corner and they'll deal with it. This uh, referee, I think the doctor is displeased with what he's seeing. And uh, you see Emil Teeth's gone over to the other corner. It's all over here. And I think the doctor was right there. Dr. Joe was dead right. He had a deep look at it. And as Dave by McCauley was saying, there, was, there looked to be no hurried improvement. There was certainly no Francis Nightingale about to arrive in that corner and help it out. Damien Taggart asked him, how is he? And uh, shortly we'll have the official decision from Mike Goodall. But there's no doubt that the winner is Damien Taggart. And that will please Mickey Hart, the Tyrone manager, Ladies no end. At the end of round three, the referee has stopped the contest uh, due to Giovannis uh, having a, a damaged uh, a right eye, leaving the winner, Damien Taggart. Well done, Damien Taggart. Only his third pro fight. Mickey Hart, as I say, will be really pleased. He's connected with him, and he's only one of the Mickey Hearts who's here tonight, because and the other Mickey Hart is going to be singing the national anthem.